Hi, I'm the guy who predicted that Charlie Veach would set up the 9-11 Truth movement. He was always going to betray 9-11 Truth, whether he was an agent or not. So how did I know? To answer that question, I need to show you some examples. Remember this woman? Remember the outrage? The visible lack of remorse when asked if she was sorry for what she did? Some people have a natural inclination towards doing evil things, like an opportunistic thief who just can't help themselves from stealing. Some people just can't help themselves if they see an opportunity. It's a corrupted mindset. If this woman took a bullhorn to the streets to expose corruption, would you promote her in the truth movement? I hope not. So why is it that Alex Jones and others promoted Charlie Veach if he displayed a natural gravitation towards doing evil things? Here's an interview Charlie Veach did with David Shaler. In this video, they link wearing women's clothing and transvesticism with the truth movement. Okay, hi everyone, this is the 10th of December, this is Charlie Beach of the Sea Beach channel. I'm joined here by David Shaler. A lot of my viewers will know who David is. Obviously, he, we admire you, David, for all the campaigning you've done. Uh, but I've been a transvestite for many, many years. It's just the press didn't pick up on it. Um, I used to go out as Dolores. It's a small evil act, but unquestionably, it undermines the truth. Here's a video where he makes his voice sound like the devil. Lucifer rising, an introspection. Darling humans, O oh ape like sentiences from the outer reaches of the Milky Way. This is creepy as hell, guys, and it smacks of that woman who put the cat in the bin. Here's another. Odds is as useless as the gods themselves. As above, so below. Praise be to Lucifer and the human being. And another. Get on to this in a second, but if we may, please, first of all, just say a prayer to Lucifer, the grand architect of the 3D world and the bearer of light. He's uploaded hours and hours of this creepy nonsense. Here's another example where he mocks the Bible. Kings 2, chapter 21, part 23. From there Elisha went up to Bethel, and as he was walking along the road, some youths came out of the town and jeered at him. Go up, go on up, you baldy head. They said, go on up, you baldy head. He turned around, looked at them, and called down the curse on them in the name of the Lord. Then two bears came out of the woods and mauled 42 of the youths. He never fails to seize the opportunity to discredit undermine and favours evil over good whilst telling people that he favours good over evil. I could give you a hundred more examples of where he naturally gravitates towards being evil. So that begs the question, how did you not know that he was going to set up 9-11 Truth? Because he's been doing it all along. In my next video I'll be exploring the possibility that he was a paid disinformation agent and that's where most of the evidence points towards.